this lecture we are going to learn how to form pds by eliminating arbitrary constants and arbitrary functions so i'm going to the problems so let's do the first problem so i want to eliminate f which is an arbitrary function from the surface z equal to xy plus f which is a function of x square plus y square so how am i going to do this so we'll first differentiate z which is xy plus f of x square plus y square so i'm going to differentiate this z with respect to x so dab z by dab x is equal to y plus the derivative of f with respect to x square plus y square i'm going to represent as f dash x square plus y square into the derivative with respect to x is 2x then dz by dy will be similarly x plus f dash x square plus y square into 2y this dz by dx we represent by p and this we represent by q so we get that p is equal to y plus f dash into 2x and q is equal to x plus f dash into 2y can we eliminate f dash from this so what we will do is we will multiply the first equation by y so i'll get py and second equation by x so we'll get a qx which will be y square plus f dash into 2xy and here i will get x square plus f dash into 2xy and now if i subtract them what will i get if i subtract them i will get py minus qx is equal to y square minus x square so the function f is eliminated so this is a partial differential equation formed by eliminating f from the given surface let me take one more question suppose i have z is equal to x plus y plus f of x y i want to eliminate f so how will i do this so again i will find a partial derivative with respect to x that is p which is dab z by dab x is equal to 1 plus f dash the derivative of f with respect to x y into the derivative with respect to x is y and q is equal to similar fashion 1 plus f dash x y into x therefore again i will multiply the first equation by x so i'll get px is equal to x plus f dash x y into x y and q y is equal to y plus f dash x y into x y so now i can subtract them and i will get p x minus q y is equal to x minus y so this is the pd suppose i have z is equal to f of xy upon z now how will i form a partial differential equation by eliminating this f so i will eliminate f the solution so i will take the partial derivative with respect to x so i'll get p is equal to f dash into 
the partial derivative with respect to x for this particular person will be y upon z. When I differentiate with respect to y, I will get q is equal to derivative f of f partial derivative with respect to y is x upon z and therefore now I can simply divide them. So I will get p upon q is equal to y upon x and therefore this means that px is just equal to qy. Now in the second section what we are going to do is we are going to take surfaces of the type z is equal to f of r. What is r? Where r will be square root of x square plus y square. So we will consider surfaces of this type. What is the simplest example? I will say example z is equal to f of x square plus y square. So this is the surface of this type because this is written as z is equal to f of r square. So function of r which is what function is that? That function is r square. You can also write z is equal to sine of x square plus y square. So what is how can I fit it in this little words? I will write z is equal to sine of r square means z is equal to sine of x square plus y square. So this so this fits into this type. Such a surface which is of this form z is equal to fr is called surface of revolution about z axis. surface of revolution about z axis. Now what we will do is we will look such surfaces and we will try to find the partial differential equation for such surfaces which are surface of revolution about z axis. Now we will first follow the standard method. So let me write your method. So z is equal to f of r. So if I differentiate z with respect to x, my target is to eliminate f. So if I differentiate this z with respect to x, I will get p is equal to just tap z by dab x is equal to f dash multiplied by the derivative of r. What is the derivative of r? r was square root of x square plus y square. What is the derivative of r with respect to x? It is x upon root x square plus y square. The two has cancelled. Similarly, if I find q, it will become f dash into y upon x square plus y square. Therefore, when I divide p and q, this will give me that p upon q this f dash will cancel out will give me x upon r divided by y upon r which equivalently means that p y is equal to x q. So this means that p y is min minus x q is equal to 0 is the partial differential equation which corresponds to every surface which is given of the form z is equal to fr. So every surface of revolution about z axis has always this partial differential equation no matter what the surface is. So let us see one simple example. So if I take a surface given by z is equal to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So we all know what is this surface given by.
this surface is the upper hemisphere as you see in the figure z is equal to root of 1 minus x square minus y square so this z can now be written as square root of 1 minus x square plus y square which is nothing but r square so z is equal to root of 1 minus r square so eventually we understand that this z is nothing but a function of r and as we have seen above that if you have any function of z is equal to f of r which is a surface of revolution about z axis so this hemisphere upper hemisphere this upper hemisphere is determined by the partial differential equation p y minus x q is equal to zero this one okay let us go to one more example suppose i'm taking a surface z is equal to sine of square root of x square plus y square now this is again an interesting surface which is z is equal to say sine r so directly this surface fits in the form z is equal to fr and this also has pd py minus xq is equal to zero let us quickly see what this surface exactly looks like so this is the surface sine of square root x square plus y square now we'll go a little bit far away and see this object we'll see that this function looks like waves of water so this is the entire picture of this particular function I will just rotate and show you it is as if we have dropped a stone in the water and these are the waves created because of that let us go to the center point of this let's go to the origin and see how the graph carefully we can have to see that so look at this particular origin if you go close to origin we'll see here you can see my mouse so here you see there is a sharp vertex at the origin this means that this function is smooth everywhere otherwise it is very smooth like the sine function itself but at origin it is having a sharp vertex which is indicating that the function is not differentiable at origin you cannot differentiate you cannot find a derivative of sine of square root of x square plus y square at the point zero zero let us take one more example if i take a function I take z is equal to x square plus y square now this directly is z is equal to r square and therefore the corresponding pd will be again py minus xq is equal to zero this is also a very interesting surface this surface is a paraboloid as you can see in the figure okay so in this uh, next section we are going to learn how to eliminate the parameters in a given equation of surface so let me just write an equation question here so eliminate parameters a and b and find the partial differential equation so the surface given to us is z equal to x plus a into y plus b where a and b are 
parameters now this surface is a surface uh, which is uh, looking like a saddle so you see this is a equation of z equal to x into y so it looks like a saddle this is called 0 0 here is called a this is the saddle point so if i vary the value of a what will happen this surface will start changing its shape in this way say i'm varying the value of a and if i change the value of y the green axis is y axis so let me just rotate the axis now a little bit now let us change the value of b here so if i change the value of b the surface starts moving in this fashion now let me set the values of a and b both equal to zero so when i set the values of a and b both equal to zero this point will come at origin the point of minima over here as you see zero zero and that is a point of maxima also so it is minima as well as maxima rather it is say said to be neither minima nor maxima precisely because here it looks like a minimum point but when i rotate it and see it from the other side then zero zero looks like a maximum point okay from this side you see that zero zero looks like a local maxima from the other side you see that it looks like a local minima okay so zero zero is called a saddle point because as you can see that on the horse this is a saddle that is the minimum and from the other side where the legs of the person are there for that side it is it, it is treated as a maximum and the inside part where the person is sitting there you will see the minimum so let us now solve the question so if you differentiate this equation by x dz by dx will be equal to just y plus b that is p and what is dou z by dou y it is nothing but x plus a which is also q so we simply see that z which is x plus a into y plus b now can be written as z is equal to q into p because x plus a is q and y plus b is p so the partial differential equation that we have obtained is z equal to pq corresponding to the given surface now let us move to the next question so let us uh, take question say eliminate two z is equal to ax plus y whole square plus b so eliminate what eliminate a and b okay for the given surface now what is this surface looking like so the solution is very easy but let's take a geometrical view quickly so here i've set this paraboloid uh, parabola sheet and the form of where a is one and b is one okay so if i look at carefully if i change the view i will now take the value of b i will reduce down to zero if what will happen if i reduce on the value of b to zero this surface will steadily come down now i will yes so it touches the xy plane now you see that now i will change the value of a when i change the value of a i oscillate the value of a so when i change the value of a you will see how the sheet changes so let me now change the value of a so as a changes from positive negative this sheet starts varying in this particular fashion if i put a equal to zero in that equation then the equation will become a equal to zero and b also i'll put equal to zero so that equation will become 2z equal to y square and that will look like a parabola as you see here 2z equal to y square so now let us write the 
solution. So if I differentiate with respect to x and y respectively, what will happen? The left hand side will become 2 dabba z by dabba x will become p is equal to the derivative of the right hand side will become 2 times ax plus y into a. Similarly, when I differentiate with respect to y, I will get 2q is equal to 2 times ax plus y, right? And therefore, when I, so all these twos will cancel out. So let me cancel them. If I multiply the first equation by x, I will get px is equal to ax plus y into ax. And I will multiply the second equation by y. Why I'm doing this? Because I have a, a here and I want a ax and I want a y so this will give me this combination will give me ax plus y so i'm multiplying the second equation by y so this will become ax plus y into y now if i add them what will happen simply it will become px plus qy will become what ax plus y into ax plus y and what is ax plus y actually ax plus y is equal to nothing but q so this will become q into q, which is q squared. So the partial differential equation that I will get will be px plus qy equal to q square. Okay, let me move to the next question. Suppose I will take z equal to ax plus by and I want to eliminate a and b from this particular equation now clearly see that this is equation of a plane right as a and b changes so we will get planes so this this equation actually actually represents what it represents a family of planes so let us now see how is the partial differential equation found out so if i differentiate with respect to x dabba z by dabba x will be a and therefore dabba z by dabba y will be simply b with this means p is a and q is b so therefore z is equal to ax plus by will simply become z equal to px plus q so a and b are eliminated and we got the partial differential equation which represents the family of planes of the form z equal to ax plus by let's take a little bit complicated question now so if i eliminate a and b from the equation of a surface which is z square into 1 plus a cube is equal to 8 x plus a y plus b whole square now how am i going to do this so certainly this will represent a very complicated solution when i change the values of a and b so let me differentiate with respect to x and y respectively partial differentiation so when the left hand side is differentiated i will get 2z into zx 1 plus a cube is equal to the derivative of the right hand side is 8 into so here there's a cube 8 into 3 x plus a y plus b and when i differentiate with respect to y what will i get i will get 2 z z y into 1 plus a the whole cube is equal to 8 into 3 into square x plus a y plus b square into a now here there is a 1 and here there is a a so again we will do the same trick as we did in the previous problem before that let me just simplify a little bit this so when i cancel the 2 with this 8 so what am i going to get i'm going to get z into p because zx is p into 1 plus a cube is equal to 12 x plus a y plus b whole square i'm purposely writing a 
one year and the other equation is z into q 1 plus a cubed is equal to 12 x plus a y plus b square into a okay now what we want to do is we want to cube both the equations we will cube both the equations so that this will become one cube and this will become a cube when I cube both the equations and then I will add the complete equations so let me write it to get 1 plus a cube on the RHS we cube both the sides we cube both the sides and add them okay and let me parallelly add so what will I get I will get z cube p cube 1 plus a cube the whole cube plus z cube q cube 1 plus a cube the whole cube is equal to so this was the addition for the left hand side what is the addition for the right hand side when I cube it I will get 12 cube x plus a y plus b square sixth power plus 12 cubed x plus a y plus b b sixth power plus into a cube so i have cubed both the equations now because of this what will happen when i collect the terms here I understand that this right hand side so let me write it left hand side again z cube p cube plus z cube q cube right into 1 plus a cubed the cubed so this is common to both of them is equal to 12 cube and this is also one of the common factor but now I will write smartly as not the sixth power, but I will write it as what? I will write it as x plus a y plus b whole cubed and then a square into what? Into 1 plus a cube is common to the right hand side. Right. So because of this, what has happened? This 1 cube plus a cube will cancel with 1 of the 1 plus a cubed and you will get a squared quantity here so i will get z cube into p cube plus q cube into 1 plus a cube squared correct is equal to 12 cubed into now what is this particular quantity x plus a y plus b the whole cube if you look at the question carefully x plus a y plus b the whole cubed is nothing but what z square into 1 plus a cube upon 8 so i will substitute from the equation let me call this equation star so i will substitute from star I will substitute this equation what is that it is it is equal to z square into 1 plus a cubed upon 8 its square correct and what will that become now you carefully observe this is z cube p cube plus q cube into 1 plus a cube square is equal to 27 this put 12 q upon 8 will become 27 z raised to 4 into 1 plus a cube squared and this 1 plus a cube squared 1 plus a cube squared cancels from both the sides and z cubes also cancel so from both the side so what will you get is you will be just left with p cube plus q cube is just equal to how much 27 z so this is now free of a and b so this is the 
required partial differential equation okay if i go to the next question i will take one easy question now let me say eliminate a and b from the given surface z is equal to x plus a x square y square plus b so this is very easy to do now so if i differentiate with respect to x i'm going to get p is equal to 1 plus 2 a x y square and if i differentiate with respect to y i will get q is equal to 2 a x square y so what do you observe here here you observe that you have 2 a x y square here you have 2 a x square y so obviously i should multiply this by what i should multiply this by x and i will multiply this equation by y so that i will get 2 a x square y square so what will i get so what will px become and what will qx be qy become so px will become x plus 2 a x square y square and what will this become this will become 2 a x square y square and if i subtract them this a 2 a term will cancel away so if you subtract i'm going to get what px minus qy is equal to how much it's just equal to x so this is the required partial differential equation okay now let us go to a little bit one more complicated type of problem so let me say find a partial differential equation which is satisfied which satisfied satisfied by a family of spheres and how are these spheres with center a b 0 means the center of the spheres is lying on the x y plane and radius is how much and radius when all the spheres are having the same radius okay now can you imagine all such spheres how they look so you see that these are the spheres i'm changing the center uh, a which i'm just changing a now i'm changing a and b both so the sphere will start changing its center accordingly now i'm keeping a fixed and i'm just changing the value of b right if i change both of them again these this these are all spheres correct so such spheres are given by what equation the equations of such spheres is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z square because z is 0 the coordinate the center has z coordinate 0 is equal to how much the radius is how much the radius is 1 right so this will be 1 square which is 1 so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to differentiate this equation with respect to x and y respectively okay so what will happen to the this part so it will become 2x minus a plus this partial derivative with respect to x will become 0 2z into zx is equal to how much 0 similarly when i differentiate the equation with respect to y this will become 0 and therefore i will get 2y minus b plus 2z zy is equal to how much 0 so i'm going to cancel all the 2s and therefore i'm finally getting that x minus a from this equation is minus z into p because this is z into p and similarly what i'll get y minus b is equal to how much minus z into q therefore when i substitute them in the original given equation what is the original equation the original equation was what x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z square is equal to how much 1 so what is x minus a now going to be replaced by zp so when i square it i'll get z square p square 
this will be replaced by what? This will be replaced by ZQ. So Z square Q square plus Z square is equal to how much? Is equal to one. And therefore the required partial differential equation is nothing but Z square into P square plus Q square plus one is equal to one. This is the partial differential equation which represents all the spheres with centers on the xy plane and radius is how much the radius is one 